guys, welcome to Bratislava. Hey, and this is Christian from Backpacking Bananas. What we're gonna be doing today is just exploring the city. We came here from Vienna and you have three ways of getting here. You have the train, bus, or boat, which would have been exciting, but we took the train. It took us one hour from the main station in Vienna. So close. And it cost 20 euros, was it? 20 euros for a return ticket. Which is really so quite good. affordable. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's not the first time that's happened. No. We started the day off at the Kamsik TV Tower, which is a really cool place it that you Awesome. Right? Highly you definitely need recommend. To go. We are on our way to the Kamsik TV Tower, which is quite far away from the train station, but it will take us about 10 minutes in the car. And one good tip for you guys, don't get a taxi here, get an Uber because the taxis will rip you off knowing that you're not a local. So we've just sat down here at the Kamsik TV Tower and it is completely empty. <laughs> we are the only ones here. And I was telling Christiane I actually booked the entire restaurant. Wanted, but that's not true. The special thing about this restaurant is that it revolves all the way around. Yeah, we can and see the whole way around Bratislava and other countries as well, apparently. Yeah, apparently on a good day, which is not really today, you can see the Czech Republic and you can see Austria and Slovakia, of course. So you see three countries from here, which is insane. It's crazy. We just got our food, and I have to say, even though they don't have anything vegan on the menu, they were super nice about it, and they just created a dish for me, so that's really just really nice of them. If you don't want to pay the extortionate prices for the 360 restaurant, you can come to the Bistro, which also looks really nice and has beautiful views. Um, this is what I call a toilet with a view. Look at that! We're just waiting for Uber back into town, but we found this little gallery inside the tower, which is quite cool. They have a lot of paintings here, but they cost 400 euros a piece, so I don't think I'll be taking any home. Here he comes, our knight in shining armor! Now we're in front of the Blue Church, or the Modri Kostel, as it's called here in Slovakian, and it looks gorgeous. I've seen it on Instagram before, but it is even more beautiful in real life. The surroundings, however, are not that impressive. <laughs> so this is what that looks like. And then you just have, you know, some... So the church is closed, but we're gonna look in through the window at least. Look, everything in there is blue as well. So we've clearly found the nice part of Bratislava because up until now we've kind of been on the outskirts and now we're approaching the city center and we have high hopes because so far it looks nice but just nothing really stands out. So hopefully the city center is amazing. And now we're here on the main square of Bratislava and it's really quite beautiful, it's nice. which I have to say is a relief because we've heard very mixed reviews about very Bratislava. Very mixed reactions. And our reaction when we got here was also quite mixed. We got the Uber driver who was driving yeah. us through the city and we were like, mm, okay. Yeah, like... But then when you do <laughs> walk right into the center, it's really nice. Now we're just gonna go explore. We have no plan. We know nothing of Bratislava, <laughs> but that's Everyone's fine. Staring. Everyone's staring. We're gonna stop now. <laughs> Bye. One thing I've noticed about the main square is that it's full of different embassies. So you have like the yeah. French flag right here and there's a lot of them. So I've never actually seen this in any other city where they'd have the embassy right on the main square. So that's quite nice of them. So apparently these statues are all over the city and you can do a little trail where you just follow and find all of them. coming across some pretty dubious advertising like this bar behind me, which bills itself as the hottest, most sexist, and sexiest bar, which is the worst advertising in the world. All right, so we have just walked up toward the castle and now we're searching for the actual castle. And for some reason, we haven't found it yet, um, but I promise we will. And that right there is where we were this morning. walk up a lot of stairs but it's great you get your butt a little bit I toned prefer and... the view than the castle yeah <laughs> but controversial opinion but I kind of agree yeah it's an it's a nice castle though it's been inhabited since the Stone Age so wow pretty ancient I just love a castle stop <laughs> Now, we're gonna get our third view of the day. We're going a little overboard, and we're going right there in the distance. It's called the UFO Bar, and that's where we're headed next. So we're really excited, and we're gonna get some cocktails. Yeah! 
We're just making our way to the UFO tower and it turns out there's a lot of really pretty side streets in this area. So here are a few. It took us a while to find it, but this is the way you go across the bridge and toward the UFO. We've made it to the top of the UFO tower and the views are incredible. I'm really glad we came at night actually because we got an amazing view in the morning from Kamsik, then we got a really great one from the castle and now this is pretty epic and the lights look beautiful. Today we went from here to here and now we're here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and watch that video on the left. Do it.